Well, today, like we said, is the first day of summer. Lifeguards want to make sure you stay safe at the beach. So they teamed up with the Coast Guard for a lesson in water safety. Tonight on your sides, Vanilla Dolores was there. So what was the focus of all of this? It was rip currents. Lifeguards hmm. say they're one of the biggest challenges that they face out on the beach. And there have been at least 200 water rescues at the oceanfront since Memorial Day. So far, no drownings, and officials want to keep it that way. In the heat of the summer, it's hard to avoid Mother Nature's cooling center, but it only takes seconds for the ocean to become dangerous. It caught me totally by surprise. Even an EMS chief was surprised by a rip current. He's trained, so after a moment of panic, Chief Bruce Nadelka knew what to do. Don't fight the rip current. Rip current will win. Even if you're an experienced swimmer, rip currents are powerful. Powerful and unexpected. That's why EMS, Virginia Beach Life Saving Services, and the Coast Guard teamed up for a safety demonstration at the beach. We like to consider ourselves first preventers. We so what is a rip current? Rip currents essentially are channels of water moving away from the shore. They can happen during any weather, smooth or calm. They're caused by strong waves and current or wind there. Happens during low tide or high tide. Officials' first tip, swim near lifeguards. Rescue 16, rescue 16. They're trained to look for distressed swimmers and respond within seconds. Well, we've, we've seen a, a very active summer. So what happens if you're caught in a rip current? First off, don't panic. The fear and exhaustion factor that's going to really make people lose that, lose that ability to fight that for a long period of time. If you're near a lifeguard, get their attention. You can also swim parallel to shore, just not against the current. You know, for us at Station Little Creek, being in the military, we work out every day, but we still can't beat a rip current there. Or? If you can float, you can survive a rip current. Just don't forget the power of Mother Nature. The lifeguards are constantly monitoring the water to keep people away from dangerous areas. Officials also recommend swimming with a buddy. I'm Muddy Lena Balores, 10 on your side.